the motion passed by the County Assembly of Kiambu seeking to compel public and private institutions as well as businesses to employ 70% of their workforce from the local dominant ethnic community continues to attract criticism. The latest backlash to Kiambu County government coming from national government which termed the move as a retrogressive. There is nowhere ethnicity is provided for in this country as qualification for any employment. And we are urging private and public entities to employ qualified Kenyans who are able to assist those organizations achieve their corporate goals. County governments especially are public entities and they should be able to recognize even our national diversity and reflect it in their public service outfits. Government spokesman Eric Raide says the motion passed by the Kiambu County contravenes Section 65 of the County Government Act that requires vacant positions at the county level to be filled by candidates who are not from the dominant ethnic community in the county. The guidance of the Constitution is found in Articles 11 and 232 and basically it is the standards which are stipulated include the professional competence, effective and efficient deployment of resources, equal opportunities, and affirmative action is basically provided for in terms of gender, people living with disabilities, and the minorities. So what we would expect from the governor of Kiambu and others is for him to be telling us how many positions he has provided for Endiles, Ogiek, GMC, and not such retrogressive things and like talking about ethnicity. Kiraide says the Kiambu County should revoke the motion they passed for the sake of nationalism and patriotism. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Kaltun Jama.